hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel and it's so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my beautiful people really appreciate you for all you do we do not take you for granted i will pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again yes guys as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country Tinubu has been the talk of, uh, uh, has been on the media in the last um, couple of days, beginning with um, his um, second surgery he had in the United States and um, immediately jetting over to the United Kingdom and um, stating that um, he's just um, resting and recuperating, followed by Buhari's visit to him. That stirred a lot of reactions and um, a lot of insinuations. Well, 2023 is not long to go, and many are insinuating that uh, uh, it looks like President Mohamed Buhari is trying to mend some fences or put some things right ahead of 2023. Maybe that was why the uh, presidency released the statement after um, the visit, after insinuations were rising that uh, Buhari will not support uh, Bola Tinubu. Neither is he prepared to support anyone um, ahead of the 2023 general election. What we've got today, guys, is quite interesting, really interesting. Two things that Tinubu did that the Northerners will never forget in 2023. Before uh, Bola Tinubu's trip, before his uh, medical trip right now, he's been playing a lot of games with the Northerners. Even during the farmer headers crisis, we saw that Bola Tinubu was mute, did not even stand to defend his own people from the West. He decided to befriend the North. He's been going there. And uh, uh, um, speculations are that it looks like uh, Bola Tinubu is uh, perceiving that the West might reject him. So it's better for him um, to play a safe game so that come 2023, he might have a soft landing. But um, two things have been drawn out here that um, the Northerner will not forget uh, uh, how, what Tinubu did for them, how um, <laughs> he, he stood for them. We'll bring you all of those details. And uh, does that really count? Will that count in 2023? You know, talks about um, the breakup is still on, agitations are going on. And with Tinubu, even though he has not mentioned his interest, everyone knows that he's something, it is something he wants. He wants to run for um, 2023 presidency. But Nigerians don't want to vote him. Nigerians don't want, due to this, his recent trip now, Nigerians are stating that we don't want another um, medical tourist president just like President Mohamed Buhari, just like the one we have for President Mohamed Buhari. So even if Tinubu has done so much for Northerners, that will not still make them uh, enthrone him as um, the president. We still have to go through election, that is, if the country doesn't break. Well, we'll bring you those two details in a moment. Uh, but before we do, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. And if it's your first time, please hit on the subscribe button. Thank you and God bless you. Asiwajo Ahmed. Tinubu, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC is an influential chieftain of the party and the people in the north will always remember him for his goodwill to the country. Apart from being among people who were fighting for democracy during the military regime, he's also known to be a political gladiator and leader who has lifted so many people up. He's a philanthropist with a soft heart who has contributed to the human development in the country. He's not only loved by his people in the southwest region, he's also loved by Northerners, which has earned him a chieftaincy title of Jagaban of Bugu Kingdom in Niger State. He celebrated his 69th birthday in the north, where the Emir of Kano Bayero lauded him for preaching unity and love in Nigeria. Two things Tinubu did that Northerners will never forget. And that will make them vote for him massively in 2023 if he contests. One, he made a donation to market men and women who were victims of a fire disaster. The national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, Tinubu donated the sum of 50 million naira to victims of fire disaster which engulfed Castina Central Market. For his love for Northerners, Tinubu paid sympathy VC to traders and other victims of the market in the company of the state governor Aminu Bello Masari. Secondly, he was one Yoruba politician who gave Buhari victory in Southwest to become president. Buhari is one of the few Northerners who is cherished and respected by many of them. Tinubu campaigned many times for him, 
to his people in the south. In 2015, Buhari became the president of Nigeria to end the 16-year rule of the PDP and making the first time in the history of Nigeria that an incumbent president lost to an opposition candidate. Well, uh, this one, uh, we know Nigerians have reservations for Tinubu. So this talk that um, Nigerians really love Tinubu, I really don't know about that. Uh, you you begin to see when the, the comments start dropping in that um, it's not really um, what has been stated. It's not really so. It's quite different because Tinubu has not really, who has Tinubu stood for? During the hashtag answers, did we see him? Who did he speak for? Up till now, um, no one knows who gave the order. No one has been brought to book. And Tinubu is there. Is he fighting for anybody? Who is he defending? So this is recent friendship with the North. All of these are just personal interests. We know very well. He's just fighting for himself. And he knows uh, the way even the West perceive him right now. He was governor of Lagos State for two terms. He served as governor of Lagos State for eight years. And we know of recent he's been dragged. Even Bode Judge has dragged Tinubu severally. A PDP chieftain that uh, Tinubu um, used them alpha better to siphon the funds of the state. Millions of uh, um, Lagosians still have reservations for Bola Tinubu and up to now they still believe that uh, Tinubu did not um, do well for Lagos State. So these people, they are not, they, these are the people, if they have this sort of uh, uh, perception about uh, Bola Tinubu, are they the ones that will come out to vote for him? So Tinubu knows very well, that is why he is not playing the Northern card, befriending the North. Uh, a fire erupted in uh, Castina State. Tinubu donated a whooping 50 million Let's not forget that uh, in the West, there was an attack also. Sasha Market, the, the, the crisis between farmers and herders. A lot of uh, people lost uh, um, things. Traders lost a lot to that crisis. How many of them did Tinubu visit to go and uh, sympathize? Because this report is stating that Tinubu is a philanthropist. He's someone that cares, really cares. His personal interest is politics. Let's not be deceived. It's just politics all playing out here. And uh, 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 the report is stating that uh, because of these things that Tinubu have done for the Northerners, you know, also his birthday, Kolikwam, he took it to the North as well. As a result of that, come 2023, they are going to vote for him. Let them vote for him. Let Northerners vote for him. The Northerners vote alone will not uh, produce the precedent. It won't. And um, that is if the country still remains one. What we are positive of is that uh, Nigeria will uh, um, uh, move forward. All of these leaders who don't have uh, uh the best interests who don't have uh, who are not people centric they will be far from leadership leadership position will not come to them thank you once again guys please um, let's hear your take and don't forget to like share and to subscribe till i come your way again with more updates bye